Hello all, and today's video I'm back with the Dollarama haul. So this first part of the Dollarama haul is just items we needed, and they've got some cool little toys for Pepper the cat. So this first item, if you see my update video, I have been fighting off an ear infection since uh, the end of July. So I grabbed these dollar twenty-five fluff cotton balls. You do get a hundred in the bag. I usually use these uh, after I just put a little bit of ear drops in my ear, and then I put these in my ear for a minute, and then I also put a little bit of cotton ball in my ear and. And an earplug when I'm taking, you know, a bath and washing my hair. But uh, yeah, I just grabbed another bag of these. And these also make excellent items in sensory bins and in a lot of art projects. They, you know, make perfect little clouds. And then I came up with this idea for Nate's clothing. These are $4 and they're by Maurice. And it's a hanging shoe organizer. It holds up to 12 pairs of shoes. And it's in this nice blue color with a tan border. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with these is roll up his sets of pajamas into like individual pockets. That way he can just grab his pajamas. And then I'm also going to use seven of them for his weekly clothing. So I'll have like his socks, pants, and shirts in a pocket as well. And then he can just grab uh, what he wants. On the weekends, I don't really care what kind of pajamas he wears. But I want him to... He's pretty good at picking out his own clothes, but it'll just be already organized and hanging on his door. So all he has to do is just grab his clothing. So that's what I'm planning on using this for. I'm not sure if I said, but that was $4. And then I do have two litter boxes for Pepper, and I also have the plastic hamster cage. I probably will use this more in the litter boxes, but this is by Javex. It was $2.50, and this is an all-purpose brush and it's a quite wide thick one so that will help you know scrape off anything that's at, left at the bottom of the litter box but that was a new style of brush and then I needed a new bath mat I like to replace them and uh, just you know when they get gungy I do wash them but they you know they start falling apart and they just don't look right so this is the sizing information. This was four dollars. It's one hundred percent polyester. I like the colors on here, and it does have. It's kind of hard to tell the little bit of shine. It's kind of got that rubbery material on it, so it's like the anti-slip kind of. But yeah, just a new bath mat, so I can replace the one we have. I thought this next item was absolutely fantastic, and they had multi different packs of these, and they were only two dollars. And there was different styles of sponges in each pack, depending on which package you grab. But you get a few different types of sponges. But I just, you know, I needed a sponge for, like, dishes purposes. But the reason I chose this particular package is there's this one in here that's kind of egg-shaped. So we can save that closer to Easter time and use it in, like, in some art activities. And then there's also this weirdly shaped one that kind of looks like a bridge. So, I thought, you know, for that open end to play, that might be something different. But yeah, I like the fact that there's different styles of sponges in here. And, you know, great value for that. And there was, like, lots of different options of these. So, that was a good buy. And then I bought this container. This is a storage box, multi-purpose, $2.50. And it's just got a lid with a little handle. I'm going to be putting the smaller pop tubes that I picked up for... Nate in from the Dollar Tree in this just to store them easier and it's all in one spot but this is by Plastico. I don't see the size on here though. But yeah, they should all fit in there. And then I grabbed a pair of these. I am a flip-flop person. I will wear flip-flops all year if I could but now that the colder weather's here just you know sitting out on the front sidewalk or you know just running to take the garbage out. I grabbed these. They say their size 13 and on the bottom they are 37s and these were four dollars and 75 cents and they're just the clogs but they have the fuzzy liner inside now technically you could take that out and if you wanted to just have them as a summer kind of clog you just have to kind of cut it off this part but yeah i like the fact that they're fluffy and i don't really have to wear socks if i'm just going to be outside for a couple of moments so grab those and then they wanted this <laughs> i'm not too much of a gnome fan but because we are doing our sensory bin with little gnomes he wanted this item and he said he's going to put it beside his plants which is fine with me it was two dollars and fifty cents he got this one because it had a squirrel in his hand 
It's got some sunflower detail on the hat, but it's super cute and it's an orange color body. But yeah, he wanted that. And then the last couple items are just cat toys. So this is all by the pet store. So this first one is a dollar twenty-five, and it's just got these bells and these like little foam pieces here with some pom poms. So you get two of those. Then he wanted this little wand here, so it is a dollar fifty, and it's got the black stick and the kind of like elastic cord. It's got like bells and these little kind of ribbon pom poms, and then the pink feathers. And this one here, which was a dollar twenty-five, or this these little foil balls, make that crinkly noise. And the last item I have to show you, I've shown these in the past, but a dollar twenty-five for these double-sided like clips. So you could use these. I like these when, like, if you're going shopping, you've already gone to say like the no frills to pick up something, and then you go into another store, you can clip your shopping bag to the side of the shopping cart. They're also great to hold your keys and stuff, and like it's showing like a water bottle. So thanks so much for watching this part of the Dollarama haul, and I guess I'll be back tomorrow with the other finds that I picked up that are more of our homeschool related stuff, and I think there's some fall related things as well. Take care, and bye for now.